never get here? What took you so long? Did you get lost or something? Whatever. So, you wanted to talk to me about your social platform, is that right? Yeah, you wanted to expand and get lots of followers and stuff like that. Yeah, well, it can be hard, I mean, if you're nobody. <laughs> to get lots of people to follow you in the first place, like, you have to have sort of like a name and a reputation, but I suppose you can make one, um, I guess you can do that, but it's very, very hard, so I hope In a lot of sweat and tears and lots of work. It's so hard to maintain like a social following. Well, not if you have like your own TV show that you've been on since you were like 12 and your own makeup company. I mean, that's a given, but if you're nobody like using heat on it, like, right away, like, right away, like, stop. Um, just because I can see a couple of dead ends here, and that's no bueno, especially if you're going to do any close-ups or partner with any brands that are targeted towards hair, and you need, like, perfect hair for that, so. Yeah, like, I would just say, go a couple of months without even, like, blow drying it at all. And then, let's see, what else can we do for you? Is this your natural color? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Feels a bit, like, crispy on the ends, but very, very soft, actually, like, at the top, so it's, like, mostly the bottom that's damaged, you know, what if we just, like, and hear me out, like, just chopped it off, like, right up till there, I did that, so, yeah, these are just extensions, my hairstylist is so amazing, so, you can't even tell. Yeah, what if we just like cut all of that off and then buy you some really nice like um, hair extensions, you know, just match your color and no one will know the difference. No one will know the better of it. So, what do you say? Yeah, I can definitely help you with that. I can book you um, an appointment with my hair. Honestly, everyone's cutting their hair up to here, so it's not going to be like that 
much of a shocker. You're not like that out there. Right? Okay. So that's good. What else can we work with? Um, oh. Okay, you have like such good features, especially for like taking pictures, like selfies. Which is another huge pointer and probably the biggest tip that I can give you when trying to build a following is post, post, post all the time. As many selfies as you can, the better. So basically what you want to do is find your angles. I can help you with that if you want. Yeah, sure. Of course, I can. So, what you want to do is find your angles, um, get rid of the dead hair, you know, get some fresh nails done. Like, just pamper yourself. You have such beautiful lips, like, perfect for a nice lipstick. Um, there's a beautiful lipstick in my makeup line, and I I think it'll suit you just awesomely. Um, I don't carry my own makeup with me, but if you want, you can totally go back to my house and I can give you some. Don't worry about it. I know. I know the deal. So basically what you want to do is sort of kind of overline your lips. Oh, like Basically, what you want to do is sort of emphasize your features. So, for example, your lips are very, very nice, for example. Your nose is so, so cute. And if you want to contour it, you can go ahead and get like as exaggerated as you'd like with your features. But um, if I can be totally honest with you, you don't need Sometimes for photo shoots and things like that, they'll contour, they'll do my cheekbones, they'll do my nose, they'll do my forehead. But honestly, like, all you really need is a good plastic surgeon and it'll never have to do any of them again. Do you know how much money you save on makeup when you get a good plastic surgeon? <laughs> That's a joke, of course. You're always going to need nose, good. What I'd say is like highlight more than contour. Highlight your nose, highlight your cheekbones, highlight your forehead, like just throw highlighter on everything. Because then when you go to take your selfie, it'll just look so bright and beautiful, like you're glowing from within. So yeah, and I can teach you how to photos that much. I mean, I just sort of like changed the hue or the tone or like the color or something. I don't like. But I never edit my face. There's no need to, right? Because we're all pretty. Anyway. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is I'm going to teach you how to take the perfect selfie ever. And then I'm going to teach you how to do like some cool poses and we have to find you your signature pose because, and I'll tell you why, your signature pose is the pose that you're going to be known for throughout your career online on social media. So, for example, for me, it would be this. Do you see that? Yeah, 
that's like my thing so over the shoulder chin down eyes looking up and that sort of emphasizes my eyes and makes my chin look smaller and like gives a little bit of a sly shoulder touch so yeah it's really good so yeah so um for you we have to find you your signature pose Maybe you can do like a sort of like that. Like just chin down to your shoulder, looking up, one shoulder up, one shoulder down. Like. That might be really good for you as well. But I will take care of that in a minute. First of all, I want to just fix your hair a bit so that we can take. something in my bag. This bag is so heavy. So heavy. Oh. Um. I found some gum. Do you want some? Alright. I'll just have some. Are you sure you want to come? So what sort of social media influencer are you going to try to be? Uh-huh. You've got the face for it. Yeah, you can work it. You totally can. I think you can totally pull off. Like that. brands like clothing brands as well because you've got the figure for it so why not right yeah so many doors can open for you when you do your job right
do like ASMR when people tell people say I have a very ASMR voice whatever that means I think it means I'm relaxing yeah well they tell me on my snapchats and on my instagram that I have a very tingly ASMR voice ASMR. It's such a thing right now. It's like, for example, um, you get like these little shivers all over when you hear a certain of you and you do different poses like whenever I tell you to pose differently or I might move you or I might like touch and play with your hair and just like move it out to the side or give you some direction and hopefully you know how to take advice well and we can definitely go ahead and love when you do that with your eyes. I think we have the eyes down, so just like a flirty, yeah, just like that. Good. You're so good at that. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Maybe like, yeah, like not just straight, just sort of like, yeah, girly. Okay, now just like sort of touch it, but don't mess it around again because I worked hard on it. Sort of like just touch it. Yeah. Yeah, like 
running your fingers through. Do the same thing, like just run your finger through. Yeah, like that. Good. Yeah, you're really good. I like that one. Look. Yeah? Okay. I'm glad. Okay, so now, maybe give me Vogue, like, yeah, like Lady Gaga. Uh huh. And like, good. Like chin up and like eyes down, like like my sister does on the carpet. Yeah, red carpet. Have you seen her? She's so cute. <laughs> Was her birthday recently? ordered the wrong type of cake and she went crazy and she just like flipped out and she just left. Drama queen. Okay. So, maybe like, yeah, like that like just, okay. That's also a really easy pose to get into, like say someone's taking a photo of you for their Instagram tagging you, like that's your Move this behind your shoulder, your hair. Yeah, sometimes I like to move my hair behind my shoulder and that gives like a whole new feel to your entire um, photo. Yeah, definitely. It's more like young, you know? Yeah, it's got like this fresh sort of vibe. So, yeah, let's try that. sort of like
going. Okay, and then that one, that one that we did before, I think I like that the best. Like, yeah, do that. Hold on. Okay, try it again. Hold your pinky out of it. Yeah, like soft. Yeah. Soft. You're so good at this and you take direction so well. I'm so impressed by you. Definitely. Okay, I'm gonna send you like the best pictures that you Or well, that I took of you. And then we can decide together which one you think should be your signature pose. Okay, good. In the meantime, we have to think of a signature look for you. Your eyebrows are so nice. I think that we just wax. shape them to be a little bit more arched because I see that you have like a sort of an arch but it's like hidden, you know? Like a hidden gem. Yeah, so I think I can definitely help you with that and I can definitely get you into see my as a dish and then she can totally fix that up for you. Say your face is top notch selfie taking face, so you can definitely work with the angles. So remember when you're taking a selfie, always from the angle. Um, sometimes just moving the phone just a little bit upwards or to the side or downwards a little bit gives you like a whole new perspective. Like say I took a photo from here, it'll look so different than if I took a photo from here. Like just that little millimeter of a difference makes such a world of, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, what else can I give you? Advice, advice, advice. Collaborate with a whole lot of other influencers do like giveaways and stuff, that'll definitely help too. Add any other social media to your bio, like um, Snapchat or Twitter if you have it, like a Facebook page, even though Facebook is dead and basically only for all the people, but you know. Um, let's see what else, what else? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, not just that, but you want to tag absolutely everything. Like, definitely tag things that you're not even paid to tag because sponsors are going to look at that and be like, 
Ooh, we can work with her because she tagged a product of ours like way back when, you know? So say you have like a company and you're specifically only allowed to talk about that company, um, specify with them, like ask them if it's okay if you can tag everything else that you're wearing basically that's not them. So like tag the makeup that you're wearing with them, but then also tag like where your shirt is from and um, what eyelashes you're wearing or your shoes if you're taking like a full-on selfie like everything like tag everything that's my advice at least when you're starting out then when you're like big you don't have to tag anything because people just know so yeah or you can just get a manager to do it for you Okay, so why don't we just go to my house and um, I can go ahead and show you my huge, huge lipstick collection and we can just find one that suits you. What do you say?